Seek Your Freedom. That's the title of today's Mindful Monday video. Let those words sink in for a minute. It's a powerful phrase. You might think of one thing while another person thinks of another thing when they hear the word freedom. None of it's wrong, all of it's right, because it's all in our own unique perspectives. But one thing we can all agree on, we were all born with that right. Freedom is our birthright. And while we go along with life and its ups and downs, its obstacles, its beautiful little miracles every day, we keep on persevering. And today on the special 20th episode of Mindful Monday, I'm going to be talking about someone who has inspired me for about a month and a half now. He, I, he and I actually never met in person, but he has been a very major part of my life recently. So cue the music and let's get into it. everyone welcome back to my channel I have done this intro several times as always and for some reason I'm getting really tongue-tied today so let's just keep going <laughs> just mind me if I don't sound right at times but we're gonna try to go with it um, this mindful Monday is very special to me for a couple of reasons one we finally hit the 20th episode and while that's still a small amount of um, episodes in the series, I'm really excited that we got to that point because this is a series that really helped me expand on my creativity. It gave me hope that it would inspire you or give you a laugh or make you think about a certain topic a little differently. But whatever it is, I always really enjoy bringing that value to you. But today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to tell a little bit of a story um, leading up to the person I was talking about in the intro. And I felt it was really, really important to talk about him because he has really been out there inspiring others while going through a tough time in his life right now. And it's something that we can all take something from and learn about ourselves. But backtracking to yesterday, I still had some work stuff to do. So I did some curating. I did some uh, video watching and all that. The usual stuff. And I was watching Zoltan's um, awesome video that he did. And the title really grabbed me because we were watching Infinite Waters the other day. And Infinite Waters is a major YouTube sensation. He inspires so many people out there. He encourages people to wake up, speak for themselves, think for themselves, especially in today's crazy world. And I've been watching him for years, and uh, Zoltan and I started watching him together a while back. And it, Ralph always kept us going. He always gave us some positive energy, even when he was telling something that wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. So Zoltan decided to expand on it in his own perspective. So he titled his video, You Support Me, I Support You. And there's so many different perspectives on that. Um, he talked about engaging with your community and engaging with others. Um, and a lot of it was business related, but also personally too. You can't show up once in a while and expect people to support you when you don't even show up to support them. And that video is really good. I linked it below because I think it's worth the watch. Um, a lot of people can learn from it. And even though I do like to engage, I am very social, um, it gave me a few things to think about as well. So I was thinking about all that and it made me think of this person I'm going to be speaking about. His name is Brandon and he lives in Las Vegas, Nevada. His YouTube handle is Freedom Seeker. It's really fitting for his spirit. In September, he started making videos on YouTube just out of the blue. And I don't know what it was. I think I just came across it one night because I always like to watch a couple YouTube videos uh, for uh, spiritual 
uh, information. I have a few people I like to watch, like Ralph, um, or just to decompress before I go to sleep. And I happened to come across Brandon's video, and it really, really grabbed me. It really inspired me right away. He was really down on his luck because he had been let go from his job because of the pandemic. He also got evicted from his home that he had, and it was very frustrating for me because he was living out of his car. Um, and he was at the point where he was so uncertain. He didn't know what was going to happen next. He wasn't giving up, but he was scared. And like any of us would be, not having a roof over your head is a big thing. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people going through that right now, or they're in between homes. And in that respect, I'm very, very, very grateful for my own roof over my head. But as he went along with his videos, he posts almost every day. He started telling his story, and he started opening up to his audience. Um, he didn't sugarcoat things. He was always very upbeat. Um, you know, there are a couple of videos he was maybe not upbeat, but for the most part, that's his default setting. He's very positive. He tries to look for the, the silver lining and laugh about things when he can, uh, while being re very real about his situation and being open to everyone. And he had a couple of links where you can donate some money, and uh, a few of us have done that, which really helped him with food and um, clothes for work, which he finally found through a temp agency. That took him a while because jobs are not plentiful right now, especially in Vegas, because it's basically a hospitality-centered uh, um, state, basically, and it is here as well. And it's really interesting to see his growth through his story. And it's only been a month. I have seen him go from being very uncertain, truthful, but afraid, to, yes, he's still struggling. He's still going through this situation, but stepping into his own truth and realizing what's important in life and empowering himself. And in turn, he's empowering others by telling his story and being there for his audience. And it's really not his audience anymore. It's basically his family. And I really, really relate to that because anybody who watches my videos, I feel a connection to because I feel like you guys are my family because you support me. And of course, I'm going to support you. So I wanted to tell his story today because... It made me realize that, for one thing, always be in gratitude. No matter how down your life is, there's always something good to look for. There's always someone worse off than you. And also, we all have a story to tell. I hear so many people come up with the excuse of, oh, I don't know what to vlog about. I don't know what to do a video about. Um, oh, nobody would care about my story. Nobody would care about this. And granted, I was one of those people. And I, I can be at times too because we all get stuck once in a while. Let's face it. But it made me realize all you have to do is tell your story. It may not seem very exciting to you. It may not even seem like worth telling. But we all have a story. We all have a life path that someone else can learn from. And it made me realize, as I told my story in my own way, maybe I was able to inspire someone else. I know Brandon did. He inspired me and he inspired many others. His subscribers are growing. Um, he's finding work. He's slowly growing into an even better version of himself. And I hope someday I'll be able to meet him and have a cup of coffee with him. Um, it would be really cool to expand on his story in a future video and also cement a friendship. So I wanted to let you guys know about him. Um, I did put uh, two links from his videos. Uh, one, his very, very first video, as well as uh, one of the most powerful videos he's done, at least in my perspective. And I think his story is worth telling, as well as all of you. Um, our stories are worth telling. Our stories are not just one story. We have a new story every day, and it's a path that we can choose for ourselves.
because we always have the freedom to change things. We always have the freedom to think for ourselves. So the more we use critical thinking, the more we tap into ourselves and ask ourselves, are we doing what brings us joy? Are we stuck in the story because we're afraid to get out of our comfort zone or we're afraid to speak our truth because someone else might not like it? It's really a good time to check in with yourself and see if you like your story. If you don't, you have the power to change it at any moment. Every day is a new day. Every moment's a new moment. And uh, I learned that from Brandon that you can do anything you want at any time. No one has that power to take that away from you. So the next time you're down and out, the next time you feel like there is no hope, keep going. Because there's always hope and there's always a choice. You either can lay down and let life defeat you or you can process it, work through it, and get back up and keep fighting. Keep fighting for that freedom in your own way. I'm really glad I came across him because he was a good reminder of not being afraid to speak my own truth and not really putting so much into what other people think. We all have something to say, and we all have something to express. Now is the time to do it. And now is the time to do it in the energy of love, not fear, not intimidation, not anger, and not trying to tear others down. Lift one another up. Express our freedom in an encouraging way, in a way that empowers others. So Brandon... At the risk of getting emotional here, thank you for doing these videos. Thank you for inspiring others. And we're all praying for you. And we all know that you're going to pull through very, very, very well. And I think you're going to be even better than you were in the beginning. So that's my Mindful Monday today. Um, it's a little bit different. <laughs> I did feel, feel it's important to share his story with you guys. If you don't watch any of my videos... At least do me a favor and watch his because you will walk away feeling a little more empowered, a little more hopeful, and a little bit less alone. So I leave you with that. I love you guys. Thank you for inspiring me and thank you for empowering me as well. So until the next time, to know thyself is to know thy truth. Namaste.